Ken Surfs here with a weekend shave. It's uh, Saturday afternoon. It's about 80 degrees outside here in Huntington Beach today. Summer's definitely coming. And we had some winds uh, today that were uh, pretty incredible. Tore the hell out of my patio cover. I've got uh, well, one of those awnings, you know, with the uh, the material, uh, I guess the material roof. And uh, you know, you gotta replace them about every couple of years. They kind of dry out with the sun and everything. And man, it just ripped that to shreds today. So I kind of blew the whole awning almost <laughs> into the neighbor's wall. But uh, hey, we survived. And uh, getting ready to go out to dinner tonight. So uh, that should be good to fun. Uh, looking forward to uh, some early morning golf tomorrow, 6.30. Going to go out again. Uh, practice, 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 right? And before uh, that, or before I go out to dinner tonight, I'm going to do a Saturday shave uh, with a couple of items I don't think I've used before. And uh, I, I know I don't think, I, I know I haven't used this soap. This is TFS, and I'm going to ruin this. Arancio uh, Amaro, but it's bitter, bitter orange, I believe. Bitter orange. And uh, yeah, does smell orange does smell like orange. And I was thinking, what aftershave should I use with this? And I know somebody had commented before, uh, a good pairing uh, with one of the other citrus, uh, I think it was grapefruit. I think I used, when I used the Tobbs grapefruit aftershave, or shave soap, uh, somebody suggested that I use the Italian citrus with it, and I didn't. So I will use the Italian citrus today from Fine. I will use the bitter orange from TFS, made in Italy. Uh, from Torino, Italy. And you know, these are really reasonable. You can get these, uh, well, you probably get them a lot of places, but uh, Italian Barber or Razor Rock, they have them real reasonable, like nine, 10 bucks. And uh, it's a pretty nice tub, imported from Italy. So, uh, you know, not, not a bad deal. And I'm jazzed with this razor because I don't think I've used this before. I use my dad's Made in England Knack razor, but uh, this is a 1968 Gillette Made in, made in the USA, knack. Twist to open, and a really good shape. And I've got a, where is she? I've got a pole silver blade in there today. So I'm gonna be using this, and I really like the look of these. And man, 1968, look, it held up really nice. Really nice, and still got the tip on it. I know a lot of those tips disappear. So uh, I'm gonna use this today. I'm gonna to be using the Samogue, got it soaking, the Samogue Bore Brush in red. And I'm going to be using a little, uh, where are we? Parasso Pre-Shave. So let me get this all set and uh, I'll be right back. All right, I think I've got everything pretty much set. There we go. Wet the face a little bit. Get some uh, Pro Rosso on there. Got the burns coming in. I should be able to shave them off by now. My face is healed up pretty good from that dermatologist. But man, he keeps me uh, he keeps me healthy. So I've got no complaints with him. If he wants to burn off precancer or anything like that, anything could cause problems. My public service announcement for the day is uh, get checked out often. Go to the dermatologist. It's sure better to catch stuff early than late. That is for sure. All right. I'm gonna uh, use this right out of the tub. Get that excess water out of there. Man, these bore brushes, you know, you can't go wrong. Somebody was asking, what's a good brush to start out with? And there's just so many of them, but uh, Omega and uh, Samogue and Mula, you, uh, you definitely cannot go wrong with them. I use the heck out of the bore brushes, probably more than the Badgers. I like them, they're a little more, a little stiffer. They really work the soap better. But don't get me wrong. I got Badgers and synthetics too. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. And it is citrusy. You can tell the thickness right away.
good coverage. Can't rub it off. Still stays. Gonna make for a good shave. Just hope the razor, uh, <laughs> hope the razor is good. All right, let's see. Knocks it down. Someone was commenting and said they have a Mercure 34 and a Bakelite razor. What would be another good one to get? And you know, there's so many choices out there, but these old vintage Gillettes from 1968, still in excellent shape. You know, try them out. And if your wife or girlfriend get upset that you have so many razors, ask her why she has so many shoes. But that might get you in trouble though. I had a request from one of the comments, asked if I would do a, you know, because I have the uh, early 70s, uh, I think it's the Gillette, uh, uh, oh man. Anyway, the Gillette cartridge razor. And I've done a, uh, it's the adjustable one. I've done a shave video on it. And somebody asked if I would do a shave video using a vintage 1980s Gillette Atra, which is also a cartridge razor. And you know, I, I prefer the, uh, the DE blades. So, I'll, but it intrigued me, so I looked, and damn, those Atra razors, if they're the metal ones, are expensive. And, you know, the more you look, the more you kind of get addicted. And uh, I thought, uh, if I can get one of these, I'll do a shave video with it. Especially if I can find one of the metal ones. And there's one that ends in about 15 minutes on eBay, and it's silver plated. Uh, Gillette Atra from I think 1978. I'll have to look and uh, I'm waiting to put a bid on that. So if I win it or if I win just the regular Atra, I will do a shave with it just for the novelty. I probably dumped all of my old stuff from the 80s, those old cartridge razors. And some of them Atras in the box, like a hundred bucks. Who would knew? Who knew? Even if you're not going to use them every day, kind of cool to have on display. Well, the soap is working good. Very good. And I can safely say, not one nick. All right. I almost was gonna use the Captain's Choice Lime as the aftershave balm today, but uh, it doesn't burn. So I'm going to use the fine. Oh, I don't know if you can see underneath the, uh, you know, these are kind of funny too. You know, I never, I'm not going to shave with them, but the, you know, the, uh, the ladies razors are, you know, they're kind of cool collectible, kind of not bad on display. I've got uh, one of the first year the blue one came out and the last year the blue one was out. So, uh, you know, they have a reddish pink handle, 
but I don't have one of those yet. But I'd originally intended to give them to my wife, but here's the latest display. There we go. From Goldfinger, they're examining the Penfold Heart Ball uh, when Sean Connery and Goldfinger were playing golf. So, kind of cool. And that ball came from England. I had to order it, uh, especially from Penfold, right there in the UK. All right. Italian citrus. And that does burn really good. Really good. <laughs> really good. So good. Oh, man. I'm going to hit it again. Well, there we go. The Saturday afternoon shave. So I hope your weekend's going good. Hey, we got one more day left. Summer's coming. So uh, until next time, it's Ken Sir saying have a great night. And thank you very much for watching. And thank you for your subscriptions. I really appreciate it. And your comments. And I try to get to each and every comment. So thanks again.